You don't really sleep anymore, you know? You stay up at night and stare into the dark. And I time out. How long will it take to get from here to Landview and how fast I can get in and out of wherever Natalie's living? Please don't. And then I tell myself they would find you and they... They would take Liam away, they'd put you in jail, and you would never see him again. So I don't drive to Landview. And I sit in the dark some more, and I stare at his photo. And I wait to hear back from you about progress in my case. But you don't call, which leads me to believe there isn't any. Look, as you know, Buchanan Enterprises has an endless supply of lawyers and money. And my guess is they're trying to keep this tied up in court as long as possible in the hopes of wearing you down. And wiping me out. Neither of which will happen if I have anything to do with it. Speaking of money, I'm not dodging the fact that I owe you a fair amount. I know, and I don't think you're dodging anything. It's just... Times are a little tough right now. How tough, John? Do you have an income at all? Because if this thing does go to trial, we're going to have to show the court that you can provide for your son. So what's the status of your job back in Landview? What job? It's complicated. <sighs> Not what I wanted to hear. I know. Clint Buchanan's brother, Bo, is the police commissioner. He's a good friend. But Clint has a lot of influence with the mayor, and he's threatened Bo's position if I'm put back on the force. He's threatening his own brother. So much the guy likes me. Guess so. Bo said, you know, ignore him. That he would take the heat. But I don't want to put Bo in that position. Okay, so uh, you need to find a job. And you need to find one fast. I'm on it. Good. Okay, my breakfast date is here. So I got a date. I'm not so sure that I like the sound of that. Well, too bad. Bye. Hi. Hey, hi. Thanks for meeting me. Sure, what can I do for you? Hire me. The uh, lawyer says I need money to fight for custody of my son. I need to show a, st a stable income. I need a job, Anna. Oh, honey, but wouldn't it be better in Landview? I mean, why Port Charles? Well, You'd be closer to your son in Landview. Uh, yes. Uh, th there's a restraining order bar me from any contact. It's a bit excessive. Yeah. I keep my distance because I know if I was in Landview, I would violate it. Okay. And if I go back in the Landview Police Department, there's a pretty good chance Bo loses his job as commissioner. All right, then I guess it's Port Charles. Yeah, you know, I'm living out of a suitcase, but I feel somewhat grounded here. I know some, some people and, um, you know, anything that, that makes me look more stable. Stable dad. Stable dad. I need to work. I don't really, I don't really have anything to offer you. I mean, like, not, not a good position that's up to your expertise or certainly not your, your pay grade. You know, I don't need much. Make me an offer. I just lost Detective Padilla. She went to New York City. So Dante needs a partner. I mean, it's not like task force or anything. It's, no, it is what it is. That's okay. You know, Dante's a good cop. He's good yeah. people. And what about working with me? You know, we've had a different kind of relationship, mentor, whatever. I'd be your boss. Oh, I knew there was a cat. <laughs> I think I'd be okay with that. Great, John, that's... When do you want to start? How about now? Detective McBain, welcome aboard. Hey! Hi. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? This is, this is me following my lawyer's advice. I am officially a detective for the PCPD. No kidding. Hmm. And I hired you? Mm-hmm. Good. Your lawyer approves. Hey, I want you to know I'm signing my first paycheck over to you. Please put it towards what I owe you. All right, now that you're officially part of the PCPD, could you please direct me to my client's holding cell? I knew Johnny had caused the accident that killed my granddaughter and her father, and I stood by and let Connie use the information to blackmail Johnny into marrying her. I let you get hurt, and that was wrong. It's not how a friend treats another friend. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. I hope it's not too late for us. I wouldn't count on it. Ready to gloat, McBain? Now, if that was the case, I would have brought popcorn. So what you're writing 
Young adult fiction. I'm pandering to your demographic. Actually, I prefer comic books, but, you know, that sounded a lot like an apology, Todd. Well, that's how you know it's fiction. Yeah. Now, let's see. Question is, who would you be apologizing to? Who would rate an apology from Todd Manning? That list is long but distinguished. It could be, it could be Sam, it could be Marty, it could be Taya, it could be Star, it could be... I've been writing a letter to Carly. Huh? Yeah, that's it, Carly. It's a private correspondence. Dear Carly, I'm sorry I screwed up your life even worse than Johnny Sakara. XOXO Todd. I you just bent out of shape because uh, she didn't buy your hero act. She didn't, she didn't listen to all your dire warnings. That's why, that's why you think it's so funny. No, I'm amused by seeing you here behind bars. The moment you walked after killing your brother and land. Oh, you. shut up. You hate Victor as much as I do. At least I had the guts to kill the guy. How's it been since you've seen your wife and your child, John? I was dragged away from my family. You, you chose to turn your back on Natalie and Liam. Whatever floats your boat, Manning. You know, at the end of the day, you're the one trapped behind bars. Hey, you know what? Maybe we could capture this moment for posterity. You know, I'll get one of the guards to uh, take a picture of the two of us. Ah, what the heck? No one's around. Let's grab this one myself. What are you doing? Can't take my Smile. picture. What are you talking about? That's, that's nice. Hey, give me that camera. Give it to me. Get work it. Work it. Yeah. Here we go. I'm a photographer. I think that's that's pretty good. What do you think? You know? Maybe you can. Uh, you know, attach one of those headlines to it that you like so much at the sun. You know, what is it? How it, sunset for sun, boss. Some, you know, something like that. That headline sucks. That picture sucks. Really? Yeah. The composition's nice. Look at the lighting and everything. I think you could sell a lot of newspapers with this picture. Why don't you leave the publishing to me and you stick to what you're really good at? Moping around and not solving any crimes. You know what I could do with this photo? I think I could send it to Taya. You know, maybe seeing you behind bars may bring her some peace, bring her some sense of justice after all the things that you've done to her. That's what I'm going to do. You know what? You judge me all the time. But when it comes right down to it, you're no different from me, John. This is interesting. Do tell, in what universe are you and I alike? Well, we both act without thinking. We both disregard the rules when it suits us. At least I admit when I do that. If you're saying that neither one of us is even close to perfect, You'd be right. Okay. But there are degrees of imperfection, are there not? I see your point. You, you never swapped any babies. But you did cheat on the woman that, well, the mother of your child. Yes. Dodd, I kissed another woman. I have made a mountain of mistakes. Of course, most of my mistakes are not felonies. Most of my mistakes are not going to be sent to Pensonville. Yours are. What happened to us? Huh? What, what, what happened to our relationship, John? What relationship? Well, we used to be pals. If this is the beginning of a temporary insanity plea on your part, it's a stretch. I'm just saying, when I got back to Landview, you helped me out. You let me stay at your apartment. That was cozy. Okay. We, uh, we had a few laughs. Where are you going with this? Well, you didn't always think I was such a son of a bitch. I think you liked me. No, I never liked you. You saw me for who I was. Just some lunatic who wanted to be reunited with the people that he cared about. Look at me now. Not much has changed. I'm not such a bad guy. In fact, I'm going to prove to you that I'm one of the good guys. Oh. I'm going to get Natalie and your kid back for you. You can't get Natalie and Liam back from me. I've been keeping tabs on your situation. Oh, well, have you? Yeah. Clint Buchanan is using his considerable resources to make sure that you never see your child ever again. It's not exactly a secret. If Clint Buchanan gets his way, you won't ever see Liam again. At least not until he's shaving. Or... Or what? Or I go to war with Clint on your behalf. Yours and your son's. You propose going to war with Clint Buchanan? I can afford to assemble a legal dream team. Clint can afford a better one. Not better than Diane. I guarantee you. It may take a while, but my redhead will get you back your redhead. And your little redheaded kid, too. Clint's got brown hair. And you think you can do all this from prison? Yeah, well, see, that's the thing, right? It's going to be very difficult for me to help you from Pensonville. So you're going to get me out. I'm offering you what everybody wants. A second chance. All expenses paid. 
In exchange for you helping me with my case, I break you out of jail? Well, Star managed to do it once. How hard could it be? You're not serious. No, I'm not serious. I know you're not going to break me out of jail. I know you're not going to break me out of jail. But you are going to make sure that my case is thrown out. I thought that's why you have the fancy lawyer. What if you looked into the details of my case and you found some kind of procedural glitch? Procedural glitch? Yeah, a procedural glitch, like like Dante didn't Mirandize me or something, right? Okay, no no arrest is perfect. You just have to find something that taints the case, and that way the DA does, doesn't want to prosecute. And what if I find out that your arrest was totally kosher? You need to find something. Come here. Just come here. You need to find something, and then you get your kid back, and you get Natalie back, too, because she can see that you're trying to do the right thing. How do I know you hold up the end? You're into the promise, huh? Well, you're just going to have to trust me. I don't trust you. Well, okay, fine. What if I put a million dollars in the Williams College Fund? Would that instill trust? Well, then you're saying this is kind of a, a, a bribe. No, I'm putting you on retainer. Yeah, but at the end of the day... No, you it's know, a show of good faith. Of good faith. What you're really saying is... You have to be so superior all the time. It's a bribe, fine, okay? It's a bribe. I'm bribing you. All right, that's what I thought. Uh, taking more pictures. No, no visuals, just just audio this time. What you're really saying is you have to be so superior all the time. It's a bribe line, okay? It's a bribe. I'm bribing you. Gotcha. Wait, what? What did you just do? I think I just recorded you bribing me. What? What did you do that for? Well, it's not really that hard. You just press this little button, you could record the whole conversation. But These things are amazing. Why? Why? Why would you do something like that? Well, insurance, of course. You know, in case you start to walk on these charges I played for the DA, nothing says guilty more than a million-dollar bribe. Whatever. It's not going to stick, right? It's... That's entrapment. You just entrapped me. Well, entrapment would be if I tried to get you to bribe me. This is more like... It's foresight. But I gotta say, Todd, a million dollars. I gotta admit, I was feeling pretty down about myself. My sense of self-worth right now is skyrocketed, you know? And to, to get to add to the list of crimes that you've pulled, bribing an officer, well, that's just the icing on the cake. It's inadmissible. You can't record somebody without their consent. In Pennsylvania, maybe, but this is this is New York. I only need one person's yeah, consent. Yeah, mine. You need my consent. No, I don't need your consent. I got my consent. Why would you give con you're, you're the one making the recording. That doesn't make any sense. Yet yeah, there it is. It's stupid. It's, it's blackmail. At the very least, blackmail is still a crime in New York. It's only blackmail if it's quid pro quo. Fine. You know what? I don't even care. Diane's going to get this thrown out. She's good like that. Well, I'm hoping she tries, you know? You know, I, I just want to say, I'm glad we've had this time together. It's, it's been nice, but I'm going to let you get back to your writing, all right? Because if you are writing an apology letter to Carly, well, it's going to need a lot more work. And then again, maybe she's already moved on. just like this when he was your age. Yeah. What? No, I'm... Well, I'm not really sure what he's into right now. What? Really? Well, maybe I'll get him one of those. What color would be good? 